Economy of Gibraltar The economy of Gibraltar consists largely of the services sector. While being part of the European Union, the British Overseas Territory of Gibraltar has a separate legal jurisdiction from the United Kingdom and enjoys a different tax system. The role of the UK Ministry of Defence, which at one time was Gibraltar's main source of income, has declined, with today's economy mainly based on shipping, tourism, financial services, and the internet, mostly gambling. In his June 2009 budget speech, Chief Minister Peter Caruana noted that Gibraltar's economy remains in good shape and government finances remain healthy, solid, stable and robust, despite global economic and financial turmoil. Gibraltar has a functioning stock exchange, the Gibraltar Stock Exchange. In December 2008 in a landmark decision the European Court of Justice ruled that this allowed the implementation of a new low-tax system which has took full effect by 2010. Gibraltar is one of the largest bunkering ports in the Mediterranean Sea, with 4.3 million tons of bunkers delivered in 2007. This has become the main activity within the port of Gibraltar. Gibraltar is a constituent part of the European Union as a special member state territory, having joined the European Economic Community with the United Kingdom in 1973, under the provisions of the Treaty of Rome relating to European dependent territories. However, it is exempt from the common external tariff the common agricultural policy and the requirement to levy value-added tax. Financial institutions operating in Gibraltar are regulated by the Gibraltar Financial Services Commission, subject to notifying the commissioner, who must be satisfied that they meet certain criteria in accordance with the relevant EU directive. Gibraltar licensed or authorized financial institutions can provide services throughout the EU and European economic area without having to seek separate licenses or authorization in the host member state. This is known as the passporting of financial services. Referred to as an international finance center, Gibraltar was among 35 jurisdictions identified by the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development OECD as a tax haven in June 2000. However, the list's disclaimer states, as a result of having made a commitment in accordance with the OECD's 2001 Progress Report on the OECD's Project on Harmful Tax Practices, Gibraltar is not included in the OECD's list of uncooperative tax havens. It has also never been listed on the FAT blacklist of uncooperative countries in the fight against money laundering. It may also be referred to as an offshore financial center, by international institutions such as the International Monetary Fund IMF. However, in its April 2009 Progress Report, the OECD listed Gibraltar in the list of jurisdictions which could, although committed, had not substantially implemented yet the internationally agreed tax standard. Following Gibraltar's signing of 12 additional tax information exchange agreements, TIAS, as of October 2009, with jurisdictions including the UK, US and Germany, to some 13, Gibraltar is currently listed in the OECD white list, and is considered a jurisdiction that has substantially implemented the tax standard. It therefore shares the same status as OECD member states such as the IC, the US, Spain or Germany. Fiscal advantages, including no tax on capital income, are offered to a maximum of 8,464 offshore qualified companies incorporated in Gibraltar. After an agreement with the European Union in 2005, this tax-exempt regime is due to disappear on December 31, 2010. A 2007 IMF report on the regulatory environment and anti-money laundering has once again endorsed Gibraltar's robust regulatory environment. According to the report, in 2008 Gibraltar was listed for the first time in the Global Financial Centers Index published by the City of London Corporation. The Rock was ranked 26th in a list of 69 leading finance centers around the world based on an online survey of 1,236 business professionals, who provided a total of 18,878 assessments. In the most recent GFCI report of 2011, Gibraltar was ranked 63rd in the world, and 8th of the leading offshore financial centers. OFCs. The Tax Justice Network ranked Gibraltar at number 43 out of 71 jurisdictions on its 2011 Financial Secrecy Index. Gibraltar's secrecy score was 78, equating to Switzerland in that category. Gibraltar was also ranked in the top 20 centers for e-readiness, coming 20th after major capitals and leading offshore centers. The territory also has a small manufacturing sector with one company supplying ambulances produced from converted SUV vehicles to the United Nations and other agencies. 
Gibraltar offers a favorable tax system, good internet connectivity along with a well-developed regulatory system. All gambling operations in Gibraltar require licensing under the Gambling Act 2005. The Gibraltar Regulatory Authority is the gambling commissioner under the Gambling Act 2005, and therefore the regulatory body. Good regulation, and being part of the EU is seen as a strong advantage by large legitimate operators. The UK has published plans to protect online gamblers from crime and exploitation by banning gambling adverts from poorly regulated countries which specifically mention Gibraltar as an approved location. The UK's Ministry of Defence was originally the mainstay of Gibraltar's economy but this has greatly reduced to around 6% of the GDP. In 2006 the MOD announced that it would contractorize the provision of services to the military base to make further cost savings. This was finalized in January 2007. Gibraltar benefits from an extensive shipping trade, a well-regulated international finance centre, tourism, and has become a global leader in the virtual gaming industry. Self-sufficient Gibraltar benefits from an extensive shipping trade, offshore banking, and its position as an international conference center. The British military presence has been sharply reduced and now contributes about 7% to the local economy, compared with 60% in 1984. The financial sector, tourism, almost 5 million visitors in 1998, shipping services fees, and duties on consumer goods also generate revenue. The financial sector, the shipping sector, and tourism each contribute 25% to 30% of GDP. Telecommunications accounts for another 10%. In recent years, Gibraltar has seen major structural change from a public to a private sector economy, but changes in government spending still have a major impact on the level of employment. Figures from the CIA World Factbook show the main export markets in 2006 were United Kingdom 30.8%, Spain 22.7%, Germany 13.7%. Turkmenistan 10.4%, Switzerland 8.3%, Italy 6.7% while the corresponding figures for imports are Spain 23.4%, Russia 12.3%, Italy 12%, UK 9%, France 8.9%, Netherlands 6.8% and the United States 4.7%. The Gibraltar government state that economy grew in 2004-2005 by 7% to a GDP of £599,180,000. Based on statistics in the 2006 surveys, the government statisticians estimate it has grown by 8.5% in 2005-06 and by 10.8% in 2006-07 and that the GDP is probably now around £730 million. Inflation was running at 2.6% in 2006 and predicted to be 2% to 3% in 2007. Speaking at the 2007 budget session, Peter Caruana the chief minister said the scale of Gibraltar's economic success makes it one of the most affluent communities in the entire world. Labor force colon 12,690, including non-Gibraltar laborers, 2001. Labor force, by occupation services 60%, industry 40%, agriculture negligent percent unemployment rate 2%, 2001. Budget revenues, $455.10 million expenditures. $423.6 million, 2005 S. Public debt 15. 7% of GDP, 2005 S. Industries tourism, banking and finance, ship repairing, tobacco. Industrial production growth rate in a percent. Electricity, production 142 million kWh, 2006 S. Electricity, production by source. Fossil fuel 100%, hydro 0%, nuclear 0%, other 0%. Electricity, consumption 142 million kWh, 2006 S. Electricity, exports 0 kWh, 1998. Electricity, imports 0 kWh, 1998. Oil, production, oil, consumption. Oil, exports na, 2001. Oil, imports na. 2001. Agriculture, products known. Exports dollar 271 million, 2004 S. Exports, commodities principally re-exports, petroleum 51%, manufactured goods 41%, other 8%. Exports, partnership, Morocco, Portugal, Netherlands, Spain, US, Germany. Imports dollar 2.967 billion, 2004 S. Imports, commodities fuels, manufactured goods, and foodstuffs. Imports, 
Partnership, Spain, Japan, Netherlands. Fiscal year 1 July, 30 June. The above figures taken from the CIA World Factbook September 2009 edition. In September 2009 the Gibraltar Chamber of Commerce released an economic impact study and analysis of the economies of Gibraltar and the Campo de Gibraltar produced by Professor John Fletcher of Bournemouth University. The report aimed at clarifying the effects of Gibraltar's economy on the Campo area. It demonstrated that Gibraltar's economy has a significant and very positive economic impact on the Campo de Gibraltar. It also noted that the Campo region played a significant role in Gibraltar's economic development as well, concluding that both economies and societies would be the poorer without the other. Its conclusions were the average annual earnings of Indo-Gibraltarians is nearly twice that of the rest of Gibraltarian people and approximately 1.5 times that of immigrants in the UK, thus making people of Indian descent by far the most economically affluent ethnic group in Gibraltar. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.